Hello and welcome to this new video. My name is Jan and I'm a Fortify Presets Consultant and in this video I want to give you a nice overview about our Fortify Software Security Center and what you can actually do there. So if you have any kind of feedback or questions, please let us know in the comments. And with that, I would say we can directly start. So the first thing that you can see when you log in to the Software Security Center is the dashboard. So in the dashboard, you get like every information about your current status of the application security program. So that means, for example, you can see uh, how many issues are pending in review, uh, how many applications versions you have. You can have a look at all your applications here. You can group them by different things like business risk, business unit, all these things are possible here. So you can also have a look at different statistics. So like uh, charts or tables, all these things are possible in here and very, very helpful. Um, a very nice thing here as well is the, the trend. So you can have a look at your application security trends. So for example, you can see there's an increase of vulnerabilities in this uh, example application. So this is what you got here in the dashboard part. You can also see that uh, there is a to-do list. So whenever you assign a vulnerability to a user it will pop up here and you can also see an activity feed but this is only because i'm an administrator in this part yeah but this is basically the dashboard so very easy very straightforward the next part is scan central so scan central is not enabled by default by but i installed scan central sast and das because scan central easily said is our approach to uh, do fortify scanning on a sensor based uh, way so that means you can use uh, sensors for sas scan or das scan and use the sensor to to run scans and this is basically what you can also see here so the first thing that you can see here is like the scanner request so you can have a look at all your scans in this case, in the SAS um, space, you can see like what kind of Fortify static code analyzer version is used, the IP address, all these things. You can export the FPR file, the log file. All these things are possible, but basically you get an overview about all your scans. The next thing is the sensor. So as I said, Scan Central is a sensor-based approach of running application security test. You can get an overview about all your uh, running or active or disabled um, sensors. So in this case, I only have one active, but you, as you can see, this is uh, available and we can use this to, to run a scan. The next thing is uh, SAS specific. This is the controller. So that means um, in short, the controller or the Scan Central SAS controller is the thing that will receive the package with the code and it will assign this package to a sensor that will do the scan. And here you can see different parameters of your controller, like if it's available or not, um, what kind of port it is using, all these things are avail uh, available here. And the last thing is the sensor pools. So you can create different pools for like different use cases. If you have different sensors with different hardware capabilities or like if you want to, to scan a specific language on a specific sensor, that's possible here. So you can uh, create and assign sensor pools and use this inside of your scan. Yeah, and that's basically it for the SAS part. For the DAS part, it is um, more or less the same. So as you can see, you can see all your scans, uh, all your sensors that are active, um, all your sensor pools. But in this case, DAS specific is, first of all, the, the settings list. Here. So uh, you can actually create a new scan directly in here, but also you can schedule scans inside of here. Yeah, but this is basically everything regarding scanning in the Scan Central part. The next thing is the application part. And this is basically where you get like all your information regarding vulnerabilities. So that means if we have a look at an example here, we can see like um, all our vulnerabilities. We can also click in here and see um, 
all these things that we need to know. So in this case, it is an static code analyzer finding. So we can see in which kind of application this pops up and also uh, can get any kind of details that we need to know here. So that means like an overview, the details, and of course the recommendation, how we can actually solve this. So this is basically what you can do here. So you can also have a look at the history. If uh, something changed in the past, all these things are possible in here. You can uh, add a comment, you can set uh, an uh, analysis. Um, so all these things are directly um, directly uh, here in the software security center and very easy to use. In this case, of course, you can also have a look at the artifacts. So uh, when um, the, the results were uploaded, you can also have an overview about just this application. All these things are possible directly in here on an application level. The next thing is the reports part. So in the reports part, of course, you can create reports. So this is very easily. So you can just click here on new report. You can say, okay, I want to have like an application report, an issue report. For example, if you want to create an industry standard report, you can click um, click here very easily. So if you want to create a CVE top 20, uh, 25 or OVAS top 10, all these things are possible in here. So you can create also custom templates or custom uh, reports that you can use on your own, but uh, you only need to click like on application summary, uh, type in name, and uh, then you can set like what kind of application you want to have like for an uh, application summary what kind of output format and which kind of parameters. And then you click on generate and that's it. It will generate in the background. So in this case, for example, I uh, this is the one that we started, but let's have a look at one that is already finished. So if we have a look at the juice shop, for example, I can download it and it will open up our PDF file. So in this case, this is an application summary. So as you can see, we get a very nice um, summary of the application on the level manage, uh, level uh, of a management level. So uh, this is very handy if you want to to have like a, just a PDF file. Um, and this is the, the uh, report section all about. You can also create like data exports. So if you want to uh, export all your files in the CSV, you can uh, have a look at that here. So you can work with the raw results as well as just the PDF um, results in uh, in the tool of your choice. So that's very easily really straightforward. Um, so let's get into the last section and that is the administration part. And in the administration part, you can really handle all these administration things. Like you can create new users, for example. So like local users or uh, LDAP users, um, you can uh, configure the different rules to um, to set the rights for the users, who can access which application, what can they do, like upload results, uh, assign results to users, all these things are possible in here. So uh, that's really straightforward. You can also create like tokens for the API if you want. Um, you can configure different things like the scan central dest and sest so uh when you can't see it in here uh you need to enable it so of course if you want to use scan central you uh, need to enable it here and it will pop up here uh, but all these things are inside of this administration part so this is ba basically where you can do all the integration stuff into different systems um you can um, install like new rule packs if you want. You can have a look at the event log, all these things. So this is very, very powerful. But uh, yeah, as I said, this is just a short overview to give you like a feeling of how the software security center looks like. So if you want to see more or more detailed things, please let us know in the comments. But uh, with that, I would say thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.